Have you felt that chill up your spine? Smelled the hint of sulfur in the air? Perhaps you've understood the portents and signs hidden in the mist. There has been an awakening. Wait, that's the wrong IP. Yo, Babu Frick, get Snoke out of here. What's up, everybody? I'm Ann Richmond, a.k.a. Heart Singer, the head bard in charge around these parts, and today we are going to have a little bit of a chat about Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft. This is the upcoming setting guide from Wizards of the Coast. It's releasing May 18th, and I've seen a lot of people debating on the internet about whether or not this guide is for them, whether or not they wanted it to begin with, which is like a whole other thing to deal with, but I thought it would be useful for me to break down everything we've heard about it so you can decide for yourself whether or not you'll be adventuring in the domains of dread. First, I want to address one common objection about the book, and I've seen it on various Facebook groups and Twitter. Let me see if I can just get the voice right. <clears throat> <clears throat> I don't want more Strahd, I don't want more Barovia, so uncreative, overplayed, meh, if Watsy just pooped something out, everyone would buy it, so lazy, meh. <coughs> Grognards, listen to me, this book isn't just about Barovia, yes, the cover features Van Richten and Esmeralda Davenir and even our bad boss baddie, or bad boss daddy, <coughs> Let's skirt past that. Strahd von Zarevich. But this book is actually about expanding horror opportunities at your table through 30 different domains of dread. There are domains devoted to mad science gone terribly wrong, surreal dark fairy tale masquerades. Jareth, I hear you calling me, I hear you, buddy. And there's cosmic horror, zombie dystopias, most dangerous game style survivor horror realms. I honestly think people are just pretty much confused because of the name. Because Ravenloft, as a name, is indelibly linked to Strahd because it is the name of his castle. But Ravenloft isn't just Castle Ravenloft. It is the name of the larger Plane of Dread. If I have that wrong, please correct me in the comments. But it refers to all of the Planes of Dread. So your guide will take you to several different ones, and each one will have their own Dark Lord to conquer and outwit. Being able to sit down at session zero with your players and say, guys, I've got the itch. I want to run a horror campaign for you. What style are you drawn to? That's an amazing tool. Now, if you're worried about populating these domains with foes for your friends to battle, don't worry about it because apparently there is a meaty 40 page bestiary dedicated to inspiring your storytelling. Plus, this book also comes equipped with a 20 page haunted house adventure called The House of Lament. So, if you are looking for a short arc to start out with, or you're simply just looking for an example of how to build out an adventure with a horror style, with the tools in this book, you should be all set. Don't get me wrong, you're going to learn more about Barovia in this book. If that's something you want to dig into, you'll have a chance to learn even more about Vistani culture, Esmeralda Davenir, the star pupil of Van Richten, the monster hunter, and more. And I really do have to shout out how awesome Esmeralda is because she is actually assisting my party in our current Strahd campaign. And she is this savagely competent fighter with some arcane ability and a wooden leg and and she's just been through so much in Barovia already. She is a stunning example of the resilience that survivors in Barovia need to have. It's honestly amazing that they're giving her more of a spotlight and we are going to see her featured center stage on the limited edition cover, which oh, I just, I need it. I need it now. When, when can I to have hands on, on it? You'll also want to check out the two new subclasses in the book for the Bard and the Warlock, which are already available to play around with on the Unearthed Arcana. The College of Spirits Bard is a powerful storyteller who controls and manipulates the power and spirits of stories and folklore that shape the past. 
At level three, they gain the ability Tales from the Beyond, which allows them to roll an inspiration die that randomly inspires them to tell a tale that summons a particular creature or character with a mechanical effect. It has a bit of a wild magic surge feeling to it that I love, and it gets more powerful with time as your inspiration die increases in number of sides, and you gain the ability to unlock more powerful potential tales to summon. The Undead Pact Warlock is for magic users that want to make a deal with something truly sinister at the cost of, I don't know, their soul. There's already a Pact of the Undying for Warlocks, but the Undead Pact gives you access instead to a Dread Form, an aspect of your patron which grants you additional temp HP, opportunities to frighten your foes while you remain completely immune to fear something that would be very necessary in the domains of dread, I'd imagine. There's something about this particular pack that reads a little bit more, I don't know, lichy to me? So if you weren't crazy about the Pact of the Undying, which frankly I wasn't when I first read it, give this one another look because it might give you what you're looking for. So what do you think? Are you excited about this? Are you disappointed about Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft? Let me know in the comments below. And also let me know which domain of dread you're most excited to explore. I'm considering running the House of Lament for some lucky patrons on my Patreon. So if you want a shot at playing, consider signing up and checking it out. Subscribers here on this channel may have noticed that I record Around the Hearth. It's a podcast I do on Twitch every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern where I hang out with my besties and we discuss lots of TTRPG-centric topics in a longer, more informal format. So if you'd like to participate in that and get your questions answered, make sure you come and join us there. Plus, you can catch the VODs right here afterwards. So if you want to make sure you don't miss those, definitely like this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you get a notification popping up every single time there's new tabletop goodness here for you to enjoy. And if you'd like to keep up with me and my myriad adventures in the wild, go ahead and check out these socials. Thanks again for tuning in. I'll catch you guys next week. And in the meantime, get out there and live your quest life. I mean it, guys. Get out there. Skedaddle. You best be questing. Esmeralda Davenir. My name is Esmeralda Davenir, and with these mists you won't get out of here, and that's your fate, that's your fate. Wow, why are we sleeping on this cover, guys? <laughs> Esmeralda Davenir, my name is Esmeralda Davenir, I like to fight and I'm a little queer, just you wait, just you wait. I don't know. <laughs> this is this is me. I finish recording videos and then I just rewrite musicals about NPCs. It's just it's who I am and if that's not for you then get out.